Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a full face of Charlotte Tilbury products because I bought a few new products. Charlotte Tilbury marketing is so on point that I am literally a sucker for a beautiful campaign, a pretty picture that I see or just packaging. This is how purchases happen. So I have three new products that I ordered and then they also had like an offer when you spend X amount of money you get a little mini lipstick as well. So I do already have quite a few Charlotte Tilbury products that I use and love so um, I think there is enough for a full face. I think there's the only thing that I'm missing is a mascara but I hope you guys will forgive me I will sneak some other brand mascara Today is one of those days that I think no matter how much coffee I will drink or no matter how many times I will blink, I will. I just can't get, wake up. I just, I just can't wake up today. But I am hibernating. I am still in hibernation. How have you guys been? What's been new? What's happening? I'm like so looking forward to my vacation. I'm going on a vacation very soon. I might not reveal where I'm going quite yet. Anyways, for foundation I'm going to be using the Light Wonder Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation. It has SPF 15 and I've got in number 3 Fair. It's not a very full coverage, like a heavy coverage foundation. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while you will know that I'm more of a BB cream tinted moisturizer kind of girl. But yeah, because I'm feeling that way today I am pretty much still wearing my pyjama. Well, not pyjama, but homeware. To be honest, I love homeware. Every time I raise the question of, oh, should I buy this homeware? They will always be like, yeah, because this is like what you get your most wear off because I always wear homeware at home. It's just one of those things that my mom like taught me from childhood as soon as you come home you change into homeware like from jeans unless of course you know you're going out in half an hour when I met Jay he would just spend the whole day in jeans and like at home and I just could not understand how can that be comfortable at all I mean there are so many different cultural differences that I have noticed um, throughout like my life and through moving to so many places and living in many places a lot of people don't mind wearing shoes in the house for me it's like what? Why would you wear shoes in the house? Why would you want to bring all that dirt inside of your house and then it goes into the air or... I don't know, we also have cats so they walk on the same floor so if you are making the floor dirty they will spread that dirt everywhere. But yeah, I really really like the finish on this foundation. And then the first new product that I've got is a concealer actually and it's the liquid concealer full coverage, long plastic, and yeah, it's called Magic Away. Yeah, I've got it in 3 Fair as well, so hopefully that will match. And yeah, it's got like a little cushion in the end, very similar to the Maybelline um, Eraser Eye, which I do love. So let's twist, twist, twist. Anybody there? Because the brush thing is new, it feels a little bit rough, but I think it's because it's so dry at the moment. Cats stole all my beauty blenders, like, and I mean all of them. I need to go and buy another one. So, uh, fingers are my tools today. The first few things that shocked me when I moved to UK was, you know, the separate taps, like the cold water and the hot water separately. I was like, what? How how do you use that? Like, do you have to go like this with your hands, like, to get a bit of cold and a bit of hot? Because the hot is very hot. And the cold is very cold, so obviously, you know, they're meant, they were meant to be to fill the tap and then you, you know, you wash your hands in the tap, but I could not understand why some places still have that. Hey, Sharky. Hey, little shark. That's a really nice concealer, you guys. I really, really like it. Hello, Kitty. What is this? Everyone is here. And it blended beautifully with the foundation. Perfect color as well. And good coverage. So sometimes, you know, I don't even use a foundation. I will just use a bit of concealer under my eyes and just around my nose where I've got redness. So I will just blend it out. Yeah, you guys, I like it. I very, very much like it. Another product that I've had for a while is the 
Film Star Bronson Glow Suntan and Sunlight. It was the collaboration with Norman Parkinson and it's got that beautiful image right here and I love it. And this is the cream version of, you know, the highlights and the bronzer because I did get the powder one as well. But I just find that it can look a little bit dirty. Those of you who have been watching me for a while will know makeup is definitely not my like passion you know I very rarely do makeup videos here but of course I'm a girl I like a bit of makeup I like a bit of coverage I like to look pretty so blended it out and as you can see it does blend out really easily and yeah obviously it comes with a highlight set as well I don't think I will be using it today but my problem with this product is that it collects all the dust it just it gets so so dirty and that's the highlighter it is a very pretty, like a wetter looking highlighter. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of blush because my blush is cream blush from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is the Seduce Blush Pretty Youth Glow Filter. And there is like a blush and a highlighter. And this is the most disappointing product that I've ever had from Charlotte Tilbury. I kind of found my way of using it, but it's not amazing. The pans are so small in this palette so that when you try to pick up the product with a brush, it goes like all over the pan and that's what I don't like. It is a pretty, like a no makeup day blush. More of a problem with the packaging, I think, than the product itself. I don't know, like the highlight is pretty invisible there. So yeah, that's our blush, but as you can see, you do have to layer quite a lot to get any payoff from this, from this blush. I might as well quickly do my brows. I've got this le legendary brows from Charlotte Tilbury. It's just a brow gel and I've got it in Linda. Tiniest little brush, which is great. Just trying to shape them. I don't really go in with a pencil. I just usually brush my brows with some tinted gel. Again, that's laziness. That's not because I have amazing brows, because I don't. I mean, my brows are okay, but they're definitely not like this beautiful, full, bushy brows. But yeah, so this is our shaped brow, this is my normal brow, so it does brush them nicely and leaves a little bit of colour. And if you do have thin brows like me, you know, especially here, my brows are quite thin, that's over plucking. And this brush is really, really good because some brushes are so thick when you do like the tip it goes, the pigment goes all over the place. I'm just gonna use a little bit of Laura Mercy powder because I don't own any powders from Charles Tilbury. I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead. So we still got this palette and I mean, look at the packaging. Ta-da! How like cool is that? So I went for the lighter one because there is a darker version of this as well. So this is the highlighter and the bronzer. It gives your face a bit of a tan, a bit of color, which I definitely do not have at the moment. But like I said, holiday is coming. Usually I don't get excited very much in advance because you never know something can go wrong. Like until I'm actually packing my bag or until I'm like walking in the airport, I don't get excited. Yeah, I've just bronzed up a little bit and it's pretty. It's so, so pretty, you guys. Well, let's do some highlight to them. Are we like seeing it? Are we seeing it? It is there. Definitely there. Bit of nose. Yeah, you know what? It's just all the product make your skin look so flawless. Next product is the one that I'm most excited about because this is the reason why I even placed the order. And this is the new Pillow Talk uh, eyeshadow palette and it just looked so pretty. Ta-da! All this like beautiful nudes, there is a shimmer, two mattes, two shimmers. That one is more of a, like a chunkier glittery shimmer. But another product that I do use quite often is the Eyes to Mesmerize. Um, it's a little paint pot and I've got it in jean and I absolutely love it's like a very very soft Creamy eyeshadow mine is like in this beautiful champagne color. She actually did like a tutorial for this palette So maybe maybe I'm just gonna follow the tutorial. So I found this tutorial on YouTube I mean she looks great. I mean all the models always look amazing I mean she's just prepping but I'm gonna get to where she's doing the eyes. Well, first we're gonna go into this one and go all over over the crease. That's what Charlotte told us to do. 
whatever Charlotte does, we do. Very, very pretty. I mean, I have quite hooded eyes, so most of the makeup that I do, only I know about. Same shade, I'm also gonna take into the inner corner and a little bit under the eye. Now Charlotte is telling us to go into this pretty matte pink all over the lid. That's not hard, even I can follow this tutorial. She kind of like goes a bit out, which I quite like. And I'm gonna go in the same pink shade and go on the lower lash line. You know guys, I have nowhere to go today. Like this makeup is just gonna stay at home. I'm just gonna walk around the house looking pretty. I have a workout to go to. So I'm not quite sure why I decided to do this today. I mean, she looks gorgeous. Look at her skin. Look at her hair color. That is so pretty. Okay, I'm missing the step. We're gonna go into the darker matte shade and just sort of put it into the crease. That darker matte shade definitely gives a bit more depth. And that's it, you guys. That's all that Charlotte told us to do. And we did. And I think it looks very, very pretty. And you can definitely build them up or just like do a bit of a dusting on your eyelids. And I think it's beautiful. I'm also gonna put this uh, Rock and Call Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil. And I've got it in Eye Cheat. So it's almost like the color of your skin. It's a very, very pale pink. And because I have quite small eyes, it works really, really well to just open up your eyes. So what I do, put it into my waterline. So like you can see that I've just put it in the waterline and it immediately opens up the eye a little bit. And it's a very, very soft pencil, so it doesn't scratch, nothing like that. So I'm just gonna apply some mascara. And because I don't have Charles Tilbury mascara, I'm just gonna apply a little gloss. Mascara is on and I've just got my lips to finish up with and I've got that teeny weeny mini lipstick and this one is in pillow talk as well. Oh my goodness! Oh my god, look at this! Baby lipstick! That looks very very pretty. See how it looks on? The lipstick is on and I have to say that it looks darker than I thought it would look but it also looks darker on the camera. Than it looks in real life, but I actually thought it would be a bit paler, a bit um, nudier than this, but it is very, very pretty lipstick. And I'm just gonna top it with some gloss. Refresh Rose has like a bit of a minty, tingly sensation to it. And it's also got this heart shaped doe food applicator, which is really cute. So our gloss is on, and that's it. I am done. I am ready to do nothing. But I do absolutely love every single product that I use today. I mean, like I said, the blush is, you know, take it or leave it, but everything else I'm actually quite a big fan of. So yeah, let me know guys what you think. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And I will see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye.